Hey, welcome back guys. It's Chris here at Rusty Ratchet. Today we're going to be working on the uh, black 911 here. We're going to be putting 996 uh, brakes on the rear. I already done the front probably about like four or five years ago. Um, I got these brake calibers probably about the same time I did the front ones, but I just never did the back. And now the back's starting to grind a little bit. So finally replaced the calibers and everything else. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So you can see the front ones are already done. They're 99s. Well, actually, they're boxer S's, which are the same thing. It's a 996. So that's a 996 rotor, 996 calibers. I'm using a 1987 944 turbo hub so I can actually slide the rotor over top. You have to actually have to grind inside the rotor a little bit with the uh, brake lay to uh, give you like a couple millimeters of room so it can slide on. So, and then we'll come back to back here. And there is the stock ones with the spacers. So there's the uh, caliber there. So I actually, what I'm gonna do is, when they shipped them to me about four or five years ago, whatever it was, they never drained the brake fluid out or plugged the lines up for the uh, brake fluid to stop leaking out. So you can see the clear coat just came off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these apart Take the pads and everything out i'm going to clean these up and scuff them up a little bit i'm going to shoot some clear coat on it and see what happens eh, if i get lucky i get lucky but i do have new stickers to put on if i'm not lucky and i'll have to repaint them and take them completely apart but i'm hoping that's not the case so i got my rebel racing adapters these will go on that will adapt to these so i can put the 996 rotors on so i got my new pads and I got the new stainless steel brake lines that are DOT approved from Rebel Racing. So this caliber is really not too bad either. And like I said, it's just the paint came off. You can see it's blistering right here, all the clear coat up here. So if I clean this up, clean it up pretty good and shoot some clear coat on it, might be able to save them. So let's get to work. carpentry hammer. So now that they're taken apart, I want to get some cleaner, probably some prep saw, put some gloves on and use some prep saw on there, clean it up pretty good. See what happens. Got some prep saw. All right, so now I'm just uh, finishing taping them up. I don't want to bore you guys with taping. You can see they were uh, already painted before. Some overspray and all that. I'm just going to paint it. I don't have time to uh, take it apart, rebuild them. They work good. I just wanted to clean them up, make them a little bit better. So that's why I am not taking them apart. We'll do a quick spray on them, and then that will be it. 
Keep pressing the saw already. I'm not gonna soak them down like I was before cleaning them. I'm just gonna spray it on the one here. Try to get all the dirt in. All right, guys. So I got the uh, brake calibers all ready. Uh, I just have to get the paint for them because it, I went down to the metal in some spots. So now I'm just gonna take off the wheels, see what's going on, get it all ready for the next day to paint the calibers and put them on. All right, so I got the brake line disconnected. Now I'm getting ready to take the caliber off. You can see the brake pad hardly had anything left. That one there. I always start out with the impact screwdriver. Keep them from stripping. Got one. Surprisingly, everything looks good in there. I went down there today and picked up the Carrera rotors and it fits like a factory 87 rotor, except it's a, got the slots in it. So we're gonna mount the caliber up and get going. The proper way of doing it, we're gonna take the whole brake caliber apart and to uh, get a rebuild kit and paint it that way or have the powder coat it but I am on a time crunch. Make it a mess. God damn it. Smells good. And there should be plenty of paint to do both calibers. It's not like I'm going crazy on it.
clear coat. All right, guys, I got the uh, adapter hooked up. You see there was no cutting involved whatsoever. Just bolts right on. You show it from the backside. See that on the backside, fits flush, bolts go in. I had to cut my Allen key so I can get it in there. I had to trim that up so I can get it in there. Um, it was pretty easy. So there's the Allen key that I cut. So it would actually fit down in here. It fits right in. So if you get this kit, you gotta cut your Allen key. millimeter
All right, I got it. the fuck All right, guys, so I had one problem. Here you gotta disconnect the brake line from here. I'll show you on this side too. Brake line's up there. Disconnect it here so you get out of there. Now this hole here is too small for this banjo fitting to go through. So I did it off the video. So you can see the shavings there. Now this actually fits through. So you will need to get your little die grinder or air grinder like I have here. And I only did it for probably about three seconds. Put it in there, just very lightly hit the edges and then it'll slide through. All right guys, so this hole here has to get drilled out so that can go in there. It's just a hair too big. So with that said, let me get the grinder and grind that out a little. All right guys, this one here is an 87 911 rotor for the rear. This is from 99 to 2007 or eight. Carrera 996 911 rear rotor. All right, let's flip that side down. The one I had yesterday was the uh, Boxster rotor, and this was a lot more shallow, so it wouldn't fit over the uh, parking brakes at all. You can see I wasn't even using the parking brakes because I didn't have any. So, this is grinding away up here. See the pads are grinding. So, let's see what the difference is here. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit more. I kind of evened it out here. So it's probably an eighth of an inch. I don't know. But it's slightly bigger, the rotor. The 996. But this piece here, the hat piece, is all the same. So that's what the difference is. They're just slightly longer or bigger. All right, guys, I'm about a week behind. Um, had to get these uh, calibers put on. I was in a rush, didn't film. They came out pretty good. There's a little dirt right there. I got a run right here for when I. Put a little too much clear coat on it, but 
it came out pretty good. But on the other side, I messed up on the stickers. I put the bigger sticker for the front on there, and then when I peeled it off, kind of botched it right there. This one's got the double P because it actually took part of the paint off when I did it, but I'll do them again. I'll rebuild them one day, but they're getting covered up. It's not a show car. I drive the hell out of this car. And you can see I did here, same thing. I get rid of the shavings. But now it's time to put the wheels on and bleed them. Well, the brakes are all bled. Thanks to this, you can do it actually by yourself. No one else to help you. So I got the brakes all done. Now I'm actually gonna put the wheels on it. Pedal feels great. And I'm happy as of now until I drive it. We'll check it out in a few minutes. Even though I messed up on that, it still looks, I think, a thousand times better than what this is. This freaking 35 pound anchor. That's all that is. But that looks so much better. Even though it's has a blem and a run. So, but other than that, I'm happy. Wheel's gonna go over it and you're only gonna see a little bit like you do over here. But that's the front ones. I did them about five years ago. All right, guys, there you have it. It is official. Pads rubbing. Looks good. We'll see how bad the blemish side is. Can't even tell. Maybe go like that, but still looks good. I'm happy. I am very happy. It was easy. 